We're Wapakura High School tonight. It is Division IV District Semifinal Night. This night matches up teams from across the Midwest Athletic Conference. All four of them are opening game, the New Bremen Cardinals and the St. Henry Redskins. My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Darren Gilbert. Darren, these two teams played back on January 20th. It was a 10-point win for New Bremen. Unlike a lot of games we've seen this particular year, a lot of points on the board that night. A lot of points on the board that night. Uh, this is a round two. You can throw out that 10-point win, so to speak, because everybody's zero and zero now. You know, in this tournament play, it's one bad evening and you go home and the, and the winner moves on, but that was an entertaining game. Obviously, when you put 100 and, what, 36 points between both ball clubs and you're led by both all-league players, uh, Beaky with 26 and Teeman with 27, you know, almost three double-digit players on each team. A lot of athletes on the floor, uh, one team, and New Bremen, who was senior dominant, versus a junior dominant team, and Coach Eric, Eric Rosenbeck and his staff, and you know what you're gonna get with both of these coaches. They're gonna get after it, they're gonna coach them from uh, the beginning of the game all the way till the end. Well, let's talk about this Henry Redskins first. You mentioned they have two players who were all conference this year. Uh, Luke Beike is a 6'4 junior, averaging 15.8. Evan Bowers, a 6'2 junior, averaging 15. They are the engine that drives the force. But as we have seen with, with St. Henry this year, they will put a lot of players on the board tonight. They will play a lot of players. We had them, you know, against Van Wert. And we, you, know, you get the pleasure of taking care of the substitutions. <laughs> he throws a lot of them on the floor, and you're going to see New Bremen do the same thing. But St. Henry, like you said, those two players do a lot of things for them. They shoot the ball exceptionally well from two-point range, they're, they're capable of knocking in the three, and also, you know, they're really good offensive rebounders. Bowers with 70 offensive rebounds on the season, and Harding's, you know, a, another kid that is a senior, uh, or I think he may be a junior, actually, but he's got 42 offensive rebounds. So, uh, it's gonna be really, really entertaining. They're gonna have to lean on those two guys to get their double-digit points and then, hopefully get some contributions from other players to, to get that third and double digits. Well, let's go through the starting lineup for St. Henry. Uh, you did mention John Hardings, and he is the only senior on the roster, 6'3", senior, averaging 5.8 points per game and 4.3 rebounds. Luke Beike, 6'4", junior, 15.8. Logan Link wears number 11. He is a 5'10", junior, averaging 3.4 points per game, but nearly three assists per game. Evan Bowers wears number 5, 6'2", junior, 15.4, 7.7 rebounds. And number four is Caden Bergman, 5'11", junior, at 7.3 points per game. Let's look at the Bremen Cardinals. They come in at 16-7. and seven. They also have an all-conference player in Aaron Team and a couple of second-team players in Evan Ike and uh, David Holman. How about your analysis of New Bremen? Athletic. Returned tons of experience. This is a senior late team that Coach Stevens has, you know, got the pieces together, and they made a great run was it last year, year before, and got to the regionals. And, you know, these kids know what success is, as you can tell on the football field on Friday nights. And uh, they're carrying over to basketball. And it took them a while. Like any late season team, the Marion Locals and those teams that played in the, the late runs of the, the, the football playoffs. But uh, you want to be playing your best basketball towards the end of the season. And this is a group of kids that he can lean on senior leadership and you know you know as well as I do us being former coaches senior leadership means a lot. Let's go through our starting lineup for the Debreeman Cardinals. They will go with number 50 David Holman 6-1 senior. He is a second team all-conference player averages 7.3 points per game nearly five rebounds and three and a half assists. Number 32 Evan Ike also a second team all-conference player 6-3 senior six and a half points per game for him. Number 30 is Alex Holman, 6'2", senior, 6.2 points per game, 24. Cooper Scheib, 6-foot senior, averaging 3.7. And a first-team all-conference player, that will be number two, Aaron Tiemann, 6-foot junior, averaging 12.9 points per game. New Bremen scores it at 57.2. They give up 44.8. St. Henry scores it at 58.5. They give up 56.5 on their 13 and 11 season. We've given you the starting lineups, a little bit of analysis. We're back with the opening tip-off. Right after this, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
We're at Wapakoneta High School where they are introducing the starting lineup. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Holman Interiors. Our scoreboard made possible by Holman Interiors in New Bremen. From cabinet design work to countertops, Holman Interiors is ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. Mark Shine here along with Darren Gilbert. We gave you the starting lineups for both teams and you can see them being introduced in the background right now. Our officials tonight, Stephen McRae with 11 years of experience, George Mock with 16 years experience, and Damon Coverman with 14 years experience will be our guys tossing the ball up today. Darren, you look at this particular game, you're playing somebody in the conference over again. It was a 10 point game as we said back on January 20th. With that, with scouting, with video, there, there are no secrets coming into this game. No secrets, both coaches know personnel really well. You're gonna have your hands full tonight with substitutions because both coaches it is going to be game to play the front three nine or ten kids. So it's, I think it's gonna be a fast paced game to get these all seen happy. And Walt or uh Van Hurt, if you remember, they tried to run with Van Hurt. Yep. New Bremen feeds off their defense, they're coming in. A lot of basketball on at WTLW and WOSN this week. The Tourney 10 at 10 is back. All week you can catch 10 games airing at 10 p.m. on WTLW and at WTLW. That will be Tuesday through Saturday. There are 24 tournament broadcasts this week, and as of yesterday, we started doing 10 live telecasts this week. So check out the games every night at 6 and 7.30 to see what you can pick up there. Center jump circle, St. Henry and the New Bremen for the district semifinal championship and a chance to move into the finals on Friday night. St. Henry in their red dark uniform, New Bremen in white with the cardinal trim. Here's the pass down inside. They got Luke Bikey posted up low, turn around jumper, and Luke Bikey's on the board. Quick steal, that still steal was taking place by Logan Link. Got the inbound pass. Here's the pass down inside. This is Hardings, and his pass is knocked out of bounds by David Holman. Big start, 26 seconds into this one. Whoa, doesn't the ball stay here? Yeah, I think the officials are gonna converse about this blocked out of bounds, wasn't it? Yep. Good piece of officiating. Sure was. George Mock, Stephen McCray getting together to make sure they had it right. Yeah, I think George thought the ball was thrown off the backboard. Yes, he did. It was off the defender. He pointed to the backboard and realized it was not. Here's Spikey in the lane again. Turn around jumper. Nope. Rebound. And put back up. And it is fierce under the boards right now. That was Evan Bowers, number five, who missed that one. That's tipped out of bounds by Alex Holman. Alex Holman came up limping a little bit, uh, going up in the air and trying to knock that one away. This well, remember. Powers is an animal on the glass. 70 offensive rebounds has already got one tonight. And he is definitely has a hitch in his giddy up right now. He's matched up with Hardings. This is Bowers. Into the lane goes Kate Bergman. Shots blocked. Fighting for the rebound and eventually ends up in Aaron Tiemann's hands. Tiemann pushes ahead. This is Holman. David to the rim. Missed the shot. Put back up. Doesn't fall. Rebound to Cooper Scheid. Here's a three from Tiemann. And eventually Logan Link tracks it down. We'll go the other way. They got Bikey pushed out a long way on the corner to pull up jumper. He's nailed it anyway. He's got four early. I was thinking the same thing. You know, he started yep. out on the box. They had to get uh, number 30, uh, Holman, out of the game. Alex is limping a bit. And he is replaced by 44, Dylan Bombauer. So we'll see how that plays out. Holman goes right to the trainer. This is Bombay, where's number 44 in the corner. And he's headed to the rim. He gets cut off. His pass goes back out front to Scheib. And David Holman. Bombauer fakes and goes baseline. He's got the first basket for the Cardinals tonight. Strong rebound on the backside by Evan Ike. We'll go the other way. Holman sees a line to the rim, and he goes right to the rim again and scores. 
First. Watched him win a basketball game right there. The last play of the game, just that move. Hard dribble drive to finish. Second time that he's gotten to the rim. That time he was able to finish. His back cut. Bauer shots blocked. And the rebound comes to Baumbauer. It's made his presence felt early. We're tied at four. Baumbauer gets a three look. And we played uh, two and a half minutes without a foul in this one. Pace is pretty frantic, too. Link looks for someone and eventually finds Bergman. Ball's tipped out of bounds by Evan Ike. And here comes that uh, wave of substitutions you talked about, St. Henry. Yep, here comes number two, Devin Delseth, into the game. Looks like they brought in 22, Nicholas Berkey. And number 10, Hayden Beckman. That's number three. Did we bring it? Yeah, we brought number three. Yeah, number three, Curtis Putoff. So they make a four person change, leaving, yeah, I mean, put off. Yeah, yep, leaving only Luke Bikey on the floor. <laughs> that This is not unusual for this uh, St. Henry team. And Coach Rosenbeck posting up down inside Berkey. And he spins in the lane where he gets doubled up, dives on the basketball, and we're going to get a held ball. Favors, New Bremen, I believe. Here comes their first sub into the game. That will be number 22, Hayden Zeller, 6'5", junior. Actually, their second sub into the game because Alex Holman has gone to the locker room with the trainer. Looked like an ankle. Look, looked like a, a lower leg situation. We'll see what happens with him. 6.2 rebounds and almost four rebounds for Alex Holman. That would be a... A significant loss. They're a chance to win this evening. Here's Holman works his way to the rim again. Yeah, you let him get to that left shoulder with a strong dribble. He's going to get to the rim. 6 4 Cardinals. Three and a half minutes into this one. Ball's lost, headed the other way. This will be Zeller, and Zeller goes off glass but missed. Bombauer rebounds, fights it back up. Zeller gets another rebound, and they're just attacking the glass. Held ball? Yes, it is. That brings Evan Bowers back into the game. He wears number five for St. Henry. The, you are not gonna, you're not gonna play inside if you're weak hard tonight, Darren. <laughs> There's some young men getting after it in there right now. Really good defensive job by Evan Ike to kick the ball out of bounds or slap it out of bounds. This is not the night to play interior-wise and set and watch all the action. Uh, you better go get it. Lob way into the backcourt to Curtis put off. Delseth gives it up, Bowers. This will be a three that'll go up from put off. Missed it long. Zeller runs down the rebound and Hayden Zeller was headed to the rim, and we're going to get our first foul in the basketball game. Hayden, Hayden Beckman gets the first foul. Number 12, Carter Elking. And number 23, Ben Saylor check in. So each team has now played nine guys, and we're just over four minutes into this one. And... Uh, Alex Holman came out of the locker room. He's got his right ankle heavily taped. We'll see if he gets back in the game or not. Now's the time Teeman. to get him in there, huh? Because if it tightens up. Zeller, kick out. Bombauer gets a clean look at three that bounces around. And the strong rebound will go to Beckman. Delseth to the rim. Right-handed finish, Devin Delseth. Tied at six. Teeman, baseline jumper, short. Rebound comes to Bikey. Here comes Luke. Bowers gets a three look. Splash. Opening three ball of the game goes to Evan Bowers. He's got 34 of those on the season. This team leads by three. No panic there. A couple passes back and forth. Went from a good shot to a great shot. Good execution there by the Redskins. Just look around, Darren. This place filled up in a hurry. When you have that 6 o'clock start, people getting out of work. Tiemann, baseline rebound. Muscle up, shot goes. Aaron Tiemann's first basket. 
From the time they introduced the starting lineup to right now, this place just filled in. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock start, that's what will happen. Winners will play on Friday at 6 p.m. in this facility. Second game, Fort Recovery and Marion Local. Here's a three. Rattles around. Teeman went for the rebound, but it was tipped out of bounds by Hayden Beckman. Hockey line, sh hockey shift line. <laughs> three for, for one team. Holman's back in the game. I think Holman's back in. I think Logan Link's back in for St. Henry. Here's St. Henry, a little 2 2 1 zone press. Holman, he, he lost it off his leg under pressure from John Hardings. Hardings got his hand on the ball. Hank and Cooper Scheid back into the basketball game. Yeah, New Bremen has one efficiency, their, their ability to turn the basketball over their after 15 and a half turnover game. Trying to post Hardings up inside. Couldn't get it down there to him. Moved to the goal, and going up to score was Caden Bergman, and he got whacked on the arm by somebody. We're going to get our first two free throws tonight, sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor. Elking did get the first foul. Free throws are presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of alts, seamless, spouting. Free throw good. Bergman shoots 70% from the free throw line on the season. One of the very large number of talented juniors that St. Henry has this year. That one splashes as well. And it's a one point game. 2 2 1 press again. Sailor. This will be a three ball look for Eink. What a rebound by Bowers. Just, he just took it away from Carter Elking. Link. Logan Link gets a three look. Rattles around and drops in. He's made just 12 of those on the season now in game number 25. Ball fake. Could get a shot up. Redskins now up six. Well, this combo defense that they're playing right now at this end has kind of got uh, New Bremen on their heels a little bit. Here's a move inside, and a high arching shot will not go. Here's Link leading the pack to Bowers. Bowers will turn around jump shot that bounces around, and the rebound's taken away by Delsif. Here's a three that'll go up. And finally able to secure the rebound as Cooper Shy will go the other way. Holman, rim, forces it up, draws contact, and will get a foul. Free throws that are sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor. We've had a couple of three-point field goals. They're sponsored by Speedway Lanes tonight in New Bremen. Free throw goes. Seven points already for David Holman. He averages 7.3 on the season. Last shot time. Bergman into the lane. Shot's going to go up from deep, and it rattles around and falls in for Luke Bikey. His points, five, six, and seven. Speedway lane, three-point shot, and it will be 17-11. Redskins will be going to the break. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
We're back at Wapakoneta. Our three-point shots are brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. Bring family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. Three three-point field goals in the opening quarter for St. Henry. That nine points is pretty much the difference. It's 17-11. Redskins at the break. Some stuff on the stuff on the court out here. The cheerleader left behind out on the free throw line. Let's hope uh, nobody slips on that. It will be New Bremen basketball. They were led to score in the opening quarter by David Holman. He's got seven seven for Luke Bikey will lead St. Henry. This little combo defense has got them kind of mixed up, don't it? They got Teeman playing man to man right now. They are right now. They've done it to him. They've done it to Holman. They've kind of played a little bit of combo stuff all along. That three misses. Rebound comes to Bergman. Logan Link pushes it ahead. Delseth. And now back to Link. This is Hardings. Tries to get baseline against Holman. Solid defense there. Freeman's been in man-to-man -man the whole game, and that one sailed out of bounds and almost took a lady's life away from her when that ball ricocheted in that chair beside her. Well, the, she was screened out. She didn't see it coming, and all of a sudden it was there. And, uh, she's uh, laughing about it a little bit right now. So. You all right, man? All right. Uh, Hayden Beckman will check back in. There she we go. Hey, here you go. Here you go. Here she is. Uh, might be mad at us if she uh, this here's Cooper Scheib. He realizes there was some litter on the court, and Cooper got it picked up. Good for him. This is Cooper Scheib with the basketball right here. Holman shot doesn't go. Rebound Bowers. That ball's tipped, and yep, it went off of number 10, Hayden Beckman. He got it, touched it last. Had a good hand on it in there by one of the Cardinals. Here's Holman to inbound. You know, one of the interesting numbers real quick is rebounding 11 to 10 New Bremen, but five of them's on the offensive glass for Bremen and three for St. Henry. <sighs> Almost a steal by Logan Link, but hit on the sideline before he could get to it. Good low, quick hands from him. Aaron Tiemann will inbound to basketball, and he will pitch it in to Cooper Scheib, and we're going to be on the offense here. Holman. Spins in the lane with his traffic. There's a nice pass, and guess who's back in the basketball game? Alex Holman, who under pressure couldn't finish with the left hand. Good to see him back in the game anyway. Bergman gets into the lane. Little spinner jumper for him. Tip back up, and it falls. Bowers gets credit for the shot that will go. Another offensive rebound. Evans got five in the game. Now his team leads by eight. Holman will take a shot up, and will he get to go to the free throw line? I think they called a block on Bowers, it appears. That would be correct, and that is Evan Bowers, the second foul. And Holman will go back to the free throw line. Our ultimate outdoor Ohio free throw line tonight. Holman made a free throw back in quarter number one as part of his seven points. And into the basketball game will come Devin Delseth. That's a Bowers second foul and his team's up by eight with 622 to go. We'll see how the, that affects the game. He's been a real man inside of the glass. Oh yeah. Holman makes the second eight points for him. Lead seven. Beckman. Bergman and then Delseth. Looking down inside the bikey. And that pass is stolen by Holman. We're headed the other way. Holman rim. Shots blocked, but a foul. Hayden Beckman climbed the ladder, but got hit. Whacked him across the arm in the process. And back to the free throw line will go a very active David Holman. Isn't that amazing? Uh, you know, Darren, the number, the, the more active you are, the more times you get to go to the free throw line. My goodness. Gee, why is that? As opposed to people who stand around and let things happen. When you're active, good things happen for you. Here comes uh, 22. That'd be Zeller back in the game along with uh, Dylan Bombauer. Dylan 
Already with nine, this would put Holman at 10 points. Oh, he rattled out on him. Six point lead, Redskins. That ball's kicked out of bounds by Teeman. Back into the game will be Curtis Putoff. Delseth wind bound right in front of our broadcast area. Put off. Link. Smaller team right now. Holman with another steal. There he goes to the rim again and finishes again. He's got 11. And we're just over 10 minutes into this one. I think that's the reason why we see the average 15 and a half steals a game. They're so active with their hands. Bergman wrestles one up. It won't go for him. Rebound to Alex Holman. They throw it ahead. And that shot's blocked. And we I think it was Bikey got a hand on the shot. Then who fouled? I think it was Baumbauer. I think you're right. Then Baumbauer's first foul. His team has two team fouls, four for St. Henry. Here comes the Redskins up four. And we are going to get a timeout. 5-10 to go. Second quarter, you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is made possible by Holman Interiors in New Bremen. From cabinet design work to countertops, Holman Interior is ready to partner with you on your home renovations or new build projects. And our home and interior scoreboard shows the St. Henry Redskins 19, New Bremen 15, and St. Henry just took the timeout. Damon Coverman getting some static from our two officials who will do the next game. You know what? When you got like when you're the varsity official tonight, you got you got two friends in the whole gym, and the guys officiating the next game are even on your case. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> yeah, how about that? we got a good crew here this evening. All six of these guys are very good and very experienced. There's a little half-court trap we're looking at. Holman on top of it. Bergman back on the top of the link. They stayed in the zone once they got through the half-court trap. Here's skip pass. Three balls going to go up from putoff. Rebound, Delseth on the back side, but he lost it, and Baumbauer gets wow, it. Wow, teaming with quick hands, got that deflection. Here's the pass ahead, and lost control, and Delseth ends up with it. Here's the pass ahead, put off trying to get to the rim, and it kicks out the link. Delseth gets a three look, nailed it. Just his fifth three-point field goal of the season. He's got five points in this game, pushes the lead back to seven. There's Holman to the rim again, and he finishes again. He's got 13 of the Cardinals, 17 points, all of their points here in quarter two. Link, they've gone back man to man, have the Cardinals. Here's Bergman. So Henry's been able to leave Bowers on the bench with those fouls for a long time and still maintain their lead. Put off, lost his foot. Yep, slipped on the floor, didn't he? Here's Holman. And to the rim, scored. Let's see if they counted an and one. That they are. The foul went to Logan Link. Points 14 and 15 already for David Holman, and he will get to go to the free throw line for an ultimate Ohio free throw. I was coming in for St. Henry along with, I believe, Sailor. And it's the second time he had a free throw. Oh, Baumbauer gets rebound. in the rebound, and Baumbauer goes up and scores. And I think that's part of the reason why you're seeing Bowers back in the game. Yeah. Because of the physicality that New Bremen is displaying on the glass. You know, they got to have Bowers on there. And here comes Hardings, too. He's coming back in. The foul went to Delseth, his first team sixth. 
Baumbauer, who shoots 61% uh, from the free throw line, will get an ultimate outdoor Ohio free throw, but that one rolls out. Some tough luck, though. Redskins still up a point. Here's Bowers, one of the looking three. Pikey nails a Speedway Lanes three-point field goal. And we're going to get a foul. Pikey's got 10 in the game now. They got Harding's right there. That will be Harding's first, but team is seventh. We're going to shoot some free throws. Free throws there are sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor to structure of Pergol X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of high alts, seamless spouting to the free throw line. We'll go Ben Saylor. He shoots 73% there and shot a little bit long. Redskins with a four point lead. Every time Bremen gets close, so Henry answers. Bowers for three. He's got two of those in the game. He's got eight points. New Bremen Speedway Lane sponsors the three point field goals and they get another read. Short jumper rattles out. Rebound, Bikey. Here comes Harding to the rim. The shot goes hard. It's rebound on the backside by Saylor. This will be a three the other way. Bowers rebounds with a foul. That foul will go to Dylan Baumbauer, his second, but just the team's third of the half. Here comes David Holman back in the game. Also back in the game will be Carter Elking. Well, the three-point line has been very kind to the Redskins right now. Well, Darren, one team has stuck five of them, and one team hasn't made one yet, and that's made a huge difference in the game. It's just a seven-point game, but there's a lot of your, your scoring averages right there. Absolutely. Three-point shot today are brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. Bring family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. And here's a foul. Trying to slip David it and get a steal. Holman. Is that correct? It is. Good job, partner. David Holman's first foul. It's team's fourth. 2.22 to go here before halftime. Logan Link, he finds Hardings on the wing. Hardings tries to get baseline. What a nice, strong sure move by was. John Hardings for his first goal of the game. Took puts it up strong. Puts his team up nine. Once again, Sir Henry has answered. Steal, Delsif. And Link. Hardings, top of the circle. Bikey came off a screen, couldn't handle a hard pass. Coach Rosenbeck instructing the kids <laughs> to quit dribbling. It's We're on the other job. end of the gym, and we heard that one. With, <laughs> we got okay. headsets on. So Coach got his point across. Exactly. <laughs> and we're going to get a blocking foul on Holman. Yes. Luke Bikey turned into the lane. And Holman stuck a leg out. That will be David Holman's second foul, and that's critical because he has 15 of the 21 Cardinal points. This will be a timeout that will go the way of New Bremen. 125 to go before halftime. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. There is no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for TV44 to broadcast it for you. Say thanks to viewers supported TV4 by sending them a financial gift right now. TV44 relies on donations of viewers to enable the airing of this game and all other locally produced programs. Donate now by visiting WTOW.com and click the Donate button. Mark Shine and Darren Gilbert. Yeah, nice point that you were able to make, Darren, to break about Bowers. Yeah, I mean, they brought him back in because New Bremen was getting so physical on the glass and they were giving up second, third opportunities. He brought him and Hardings back in. And now they've got the thing extended to nine, which is, you know, a luxury. They can put him back on the bench with those two fouls. They don't want to get him that third. 
Mikey spins in the lane, his jumper goes in the lane. He's got 12 in the opening half. Heck of an athletic play, not only finishing the play, but just catching it alone. Teeman worked inside and under pressure, couldn't score. It's been a really nice job defensively. Harding's heads to the rim and gets fouled. Oh boy, and that's three. David Holman trying to block the shot, whacked him across the wrist. And David Holman and his 15 points will have his third foul into the free throw line where we go John Hardings, a 64% free throw shooter on the season to shoot an ultimate outdoor Ohio free throw. Actually a pair of them. I mean, this puts you know, Coach Stevens in a, in a position that he's got to take David out right now. And well, you know what happened, Darren? He tried to get Alex Holman to the scores table, but you cannot sub after 15 seconds or remaining in a timeout. So Holman was uh, waited to come in for David Holman, just couldn't get there because he got to the scores table late and he got the foul because of it. David Holman out, Alex Holman in. Teeman trying to get loose. He has struggled all night against the, this combo defense. Well, now they're putting length. They're putting Hardings on him because of his length, making it difficult for Teeman. Finally, an offensive rebound and a strong play by Evan Ike inside for his first basket. Cuts the lead to 10, and now will allow St. Henry to play last shot of the opening half. Got things spread out a little bit. Got to several weapons on the floor. You would think they'd want to try to get the ball inside to Luke Bikey because he has scored very well inside this evening. Hardings has had a good quarter as well. Let's see what Coach Rosenbeck chooses to do. We're at 10. Yeah, he definitely want, does not want to give New Bremen an opportunity, so he's going to wind it down as much as he can. Link to the rim. Left-handed finish, Logan Link. And after 16 minutes, the momentum flies with the St. Henry Redskins. They've got a 12-point lead as we head to the break. If you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School. St. Henry 35, New Bremen at 23. Our scoreboard is present, presented by Home and Interiors in New Bremen. From cabinet designs to countertops, Home and Interiors is ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. Darren, you get the stat page in front of you. What kind of things jump off the stat page at you? Well, I think it's the three point lines, the difference in the first half, basically three things we had talked about. Number one, St. Henry, six and 10 which is 60% on threes. New Bremen is 0 for 8, so there's 18 points. New Bremen struggling at the charity stripe, converting only three of eight for 37%. The boards are pretty even, 22 to 16. And the other glaring thing that you talked about was a great point is, you know, basically Coach Rosenbeck and his coaching staff and players, they've come to the realization, you know what, if we're gonna lose, somebody else has gotta beat us besides teaming. And they've done a really good job on him. Holman's got his points, but the problem is he's sitting with three fouls. Well, Teeman hasn't even been able to get many shots up. Is that correct? Like, he's got like three or four shots, I remember. He's got, he's one of four. There he's got go. four attempts. So we are to third quarter action. New Bremen won the regular season game by 10. That was a 73-63 game. Aaron Teeman had 27 in that game. He's setting on two at halftime, and that, that's not his, him. That's how well he's been defended by St. Henry. St. Henry basketball. Holman will start talking David Holman with his three fouls. He is the only person in any foul trouble as we head to the next eight-minute session here. This is Bowers. He had a couple of fouls and didn't play a lot in the second quarter. Link looks inside. Bergman pressured out front by Teeman. Trying to get Bikey open inside and cannot. That ball's tipped by Holman. We've seen this a bunch of times tonight. And he flies to the rim and missed it under pressure, but hustles back on the floor, gets his own rebound, and scores. How many times he got a steal and gone out in transition today and then alertly got himself back on the court so he could take the rebound and score? Here's a three. Oh, my goodness. A long splash. Three-point shot made from Speedway. Speedway lanes in New Bremen. That was Bikey. 
His third of the game. Seven of 11 from behind Here's the Holman again to the rim. Kick out. Passed on side. That ball's tipped away by Bowers without picking up a foul. Really good hands on his part. Sure was. Bikey feeling it. Here now he goes to the rim. And going to get an offensive foul. I'll Luke. tell you, that's gutsy on David Holman's part because if that's the 50-50 call, if he doesn't get that, he's got to come out with four fouls. Luke Bikey makes uh, his first foul of the game on that offensive foul. And that was a gutsy play by oh. David Holman. Coach Stevens is like, oh, please, you know, give us the call. Well, full court pressure. This is to Aaron Teeman right here. He's going to pull up jumper and it rolls around and Harding gets the rebound. This is Evan Bowers. He wanted to pull up for three. St. Henry has made 133 three-point field goals on the season in their 24 games. Here's Teeman loose, pressured, and he's going to be fouled. Teeman with a great defensive yep. play with the steal at the other end, taking coast to coast and drew the foul. Logan Link picks up a foul, and we will go to the free throw line where tonight's free throws are sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, a division of alts, seamless spouting. Teeman makes a free throw. He shoots 68% from the line on the season. Sometimes, Darren, just seeing that ball go through the basket for the first time makes, makes a huge difference. Just may well get him going. Oh, yeah. Three points for him in the game. And another free throw rattles around. It's been that way for both teams kind of this evening, but especially for New Bremen. 12-point deficit, Cardinals. Here's Link. Bowers, and Link again, Bergman. Bowers down low, trying to spin in the lane, goes to his left shoulder, ball fakes, misses under really good defensive pressure. Sure was. Link with a steal, great hands. He weaves his way down the court and goes off glass, no, Bowers tips, no. Scramble for the rebound. Hardings is wrestling with it, and Bergman gets the final put up. Put up. Just relentless oh my. effort, wasn't it, on the glass? The it wasn't just one, it was persistency like. It absolutely was. <laughs> by three different players. Teeman gets a three look, missed everything. Bowers rebounds that. Uncle Mo is wearing a red jersey right now. Mikey spins baseline, gets doubled up. And his coach takes a timeout. 5-10 to go in the third. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Our three-point shots tonight are brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. Bring family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. So far, the three-point field goals have all been made by the St. Henry Redskins tonight, and they lead by 14. His coach just took a timeout and did the St. Henry to save a possession trapped on the baseline. So also got several subs in the game, as they typically do. Delsis came in, so they put off. Delsa. And lobs it way out front to put off. Curtis with the basketball. This is Bowers. Evan wants to work the lane. Spin dribble and lost his balance and travel. Good job right there with the help defense by the down inside, forcing that turn on. Bowers likes to go to this left arm and that good spin back to that left shoulder. Job it was a defensive possession, so Coach Stevens had David Holman out. He's back into the game now that his team has the basketball. He's going to bounce past the ball low, and a power layup inside will go by Evan Ike. He's got four in the game off a of Holman assist. Super pass for Holman coming in the lead. Excuse me, the team leader assist at 74. Average about 3.4 a game, and that forced a turnover. Hayden Beckman lost it off his leg under pressure.
couldn't get back into the game, but Ben Saylor tried to get to the scores table, didn't get there in time. This is Teeman. Just saw Coach Holman. Rose and Beck tell his players, pass the ball, quit dribbling the ball. David Holman. Baumbauer into the lane. Shot scooped up. Nope. Holman tipped it out of bounds. And Darren saved me. I think they actually saw it. Ball went out of bounds off of David Holman. I've seen that young man play football. I do, I do, I do not want any contact no. with him. <laughs> he is a wonderful high school football player. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Here's Curtis put off. Well, he plays the game the right way. You know, he's just, and he's a good sport about it, and he's aggressive and physical. Spikey way out on front with the basketball. They find put off in the corner for three. There's another offensive rebound. That one comes in the hands of Beckman, who spins into the lane, and the shot will not count. Foul went to Teeman. Aaron picks up his first foul. His team's first of the half as well. Coach Rosenbeck's exactly right. When they get the ball moving side to side with the pass, they're getting high quality looks. Not many points on the board for either team in the quarter. Just a 5-5 game here, four and a half minutes into the quarter. Delson. Into the lane and he, nope, blocking foul. Call goes to. Evan Ike gets his first foul. Each team now has two fouls in the half. Lob pass inside. Bikey wants to spin the lane. Passes down low and Delson finishes. Great vision to get the pass off. Yeah. Nice job keeping his composure. Holman gets cut off. And he goes up from 15 feet and strokes a shot in. He's got 19 in the game. When you're averaging seven a game and you got 19 in a tournament game, you're on. Ball is tipped out of bounds on a defensive play by Ike. If he throws that ball to the baseline side instead of the top side, I think he's going to get a drop step and a layup right there. 2.51 to go here in quarter three. The winner will get the winner of Marion Local and Fort Recovery, our next game coming up, and that winner game will be on Friday night when WOSM will be back in this facility. Elking come in for David Holman right there, the last 2.45 here in the third quarter. Put off goes baseline, and I think they got uh, Dylan Bombauer for sticking a leg out. If so, that is foul three on him, and that is correct. Yeah, he's never been able to get into a rhythm tonight, into the flow of the game. Those got those two quick fouls there in the first half, and here's put off and hands off to Delpha. Heads baseline where he gets cut off by Teeman. Oh, nice pass. But finds Bergman on a really nice pass. I'm going to look at the assist total when this game's over and we get the stat page because they are doing some well, wonderful passing this evening. Teeman. Zeller wants to go baseline, nowhere to go, and loses it. Scramble for it. How about Delphus coming, coming up with the basketball to Bowers? Here's put off. Delson's going to get a long three. A speedway lanes in New Bremen, three-point field goal. Devin Delson, who averages 2.3 points per game and has four made three goals in three on the year, now has six made three-point field goals and 10 points today. Timeout, New Bremen, 1.48 to go. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School. Did you enjoy games like this one? Are you thankful for the chance to showcase our local high school teams on TV? 
please consider making a donation to TV44 so we can keep airing games just like this one. Donate online right now at WTLW.com or send a gift by phone calling 419-339-4444. One forty to go in the third, a 17 points to Henry lead, hence the timeout, Corey Stevens. Holman down low, lost it off his leg to Tiemann. Tiemann and Putoff have gotten to know each other very well on this end of the floor. Here's Holman working the lane. Bombauer's gonna get a three. Holman gets the rebound, and muscles up inside, nope. And Bowers goes over, everybody to get the rebound, but I think he got called for a foul. It was either him or Bergman. Let's see what the call is. Yeah, Caden Bergman got called for the checkout foul. Dodd Bowers reaching over top of everybody to secure the rebound. Yeah, he's going to get Bowers <laughs> out to keep him from getting another. He's wow, it's getting physical inside, not like it wasn't the first half, but it's Here's real pass physical inside now. on the out-of-bounds play and finishing inside is Evan Ike. Four and a quarter for him, six in the game. Cuts the lead to 15. That's a play that absolutely drives head coaches nuts, the lacrosse screen action. Here's Delphin. He's had a really nice basketball game on both ends of the floor. Now put off and Bergman. Under a minute to go, Fikey Long, three. David Holman rebound. And that three ball, the first one by Alex Holman tonight. It's the first three on this end of the floor, cuts it to 12. Big three point, bucket. Three point shots brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. And the New Bremen Cardinals have scored the last five points since the timeout. And so Henry says, we're going to slow this down and get the last shot of the quarter, take a little more away from you. Delphus backs up. Bergman hands off. Devin Delphus. Delphus goes baseline, gives it up. Three out of the corner. Delphus gets the rebound and get a foul? Yes, I believe so. Looked like it was Evan Eink. Went to St. Henry's number 32. That yeah, that was Christopher Berkey. The scoreboard says now has a pair of fouls. Oh, I thought that oh, was. Honestly, you're yes. right. They called the other way, didn't they? That's yeah. 32. Mm -hmm. All right, got it. Here's a long pass ahead. And a long three by Link. This quarter will come to an end. So Henry will take a 12-point lead the next eight minutes watching high school basketball on WOSN. From Wapakuna High School, our scoreboard is made possible by Holman Interiors in New Bremen. From cabinet design, work to countertops, Holman Interiors is ready to partner with you on your home renovation and new build projects. Each team scored 12 points in quarter. Number three, it's 47, so Henry, it's 35, New Bremen is head to the fourth. Eight minutes left for one of these ball clubs, huh? Uh, New Bremen basketball here to start quarter number four. Tiemann spins into the lane and he is well defended. The Hardings has done a good job with him, hasn't he? Oh yeah, the length is really, you know. Eink rebounded the backside, dribbles out and shoots a three that comes up short into the hands of Luke Vikey. That length of Hardings not only does that, he, he's very good laterally. They've done a good job with him. They've tried put off on him. They've used a lot of combination stuff this season. They've done a really good job defensively. And that's a nice game plan by Coach Rosenbeck. But we still almost eight minutes to go in this one. Let's see what happens. So Henry with a patient possession. Bergman from 15. Rebound. Bowers shows his strength inside. Evan Bowers becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. Another offensive rebound for that. Young man. Holman lobs it inside. Ike goes up strong and scores. 
Evan Ike has eight in the game. Tough catch, nice finish. Averages six and a half points per game. He's got eight right now. Still a 12 point lead, St. Henry. Hardings. Bikey down low. Really good defense that time. Tough shot, Bergman rebounds. Slapped away, who hit it out of bounds? It will go to St. Henry. Darren, you've been in games like this. If you're St. Henry wearing a red shirt, the clock never moves. It seems like the game is, come on clock, come on clock. If you're New Bremen, the clock is just flying by. And Coach Rosenbeck yeah. sitting over there, you know, quit dribbling, yeah. quit dribbling, pass the it, ball. Yeah, and New Bremen's like, well, yeah, we gotta get the ball the other end of the floor. We gotta get a stop. This three is gonna go up by Cooper Shive. Nope, Holman tried to get the rebound, but Bauer's too strong inside. Pass ahead, Bergman. Here's a lob ahead, and good save on the baseline by Luke Beike. Harding's had a chance to go to the rim. Bowers, who he wanted that one, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Evan Bowers has a couple of made three-point field goals this evening and 10 points in the game, and he wanted that one. Logan Link is trapped on the sideline, and his coach takes a timeout. 5.39 to go in the basketball game. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our three-point shots tonight are brought to you by Speedway in Lanes in New Bremen. Bring family, friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. Three-point field goals have been very important tonight for the St. Henry Redskins. New Bremen has made just one. Yeah, not bad, 8 to 16 for 50%. Bowers looking, 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 and finally gets it in bounds, but it went into the arms of Dylan Bombauer, and he got fouled. Delseth gets his second foul. Fourth team foul. Each team has four team fouls. Good pressure on the inbounds play by the Cardinals. Cooper Scheib into the basketball game. He gets a three look. Rattles around, battled inside for the rebound. Ike goes up and scores. Big rebound. Yes, Nick sir. Finish. Ten points for Ike, eight in the second half. It's back to ten. All the officials wearing New Bremen colors thought there was a travel there. Link out front. And now Bowers. His pass inside is tipped. And Holman wrestles it away to Teeman. Here comes New Bremen. At 50 50. Teeman throws ball. it ahead. Holman still with three fouls. Pull up jumper. Holman. Rebound. Delson. Nice box out by that young man, Delson. Logan Link, four and a half to go. Here's Bowers. Trapped on the baseline, and we're going to get a foul. I think we do. Teeman, I believe. Let's see. Good call, Darren. It is Aaron Teeman's second foul, team's fifth. You know, the trap was really good, but Delsa just did a really good job splitting it getting his leg and his head through there and then pulling the basketball. Bobbed way in the backcourt to Link. Bombauer with really good defensive pressure. De Bremen trailing by 10, trying to ratchet it up at this end. Holman's gonna get called for a blocking foul. That's his fourth. It was, as he was crowding the offensive man near midcourt, sixth team foul. And as you said, fourth on David Holman. 
Down 10 with under four. Got to leave him in. Got to leave him in. And you know what? The effort he gave right there. You know, he's smart enough. He can protect himself now. And uh, you would think the rest of this three minutes and 50 seconds. I think Bob Bauer, yeah, yeah. Bam Bauer just got called for whacking him on the arm. That's his fourth. Fourth for him as well. And we're going to go to the free throw line for ultimate outdoor Ohio free throws. The Ohio distributor for the structure Pergo X, Ultimate Outdoor, a division of alts, seamless spouting. It's one and one time, Darren, with 3.47 to go. And Evan Bowers at the free throw line, who shoots 81%, and these are going to be very important for the St. Henry Redskins. You know, I thought when we did the Van Wert game, I really think this is a young man in the area that's really, really improved his game since last year. Missed it. Ten-point game. Cardinals are going to need some points in a hurry. Now they're got, staying in that box. And yeah, one, they are. They? Yep. Now they've got Delsus being the chaser team and finally got it, but pressure is there. It's at least the third different person they've put on Teeman. Here's Holman wanting to back in the lane, kick out. Here's a three that'll go up, and that three ball goes for Evan Eich. He's got 13 in the game. On a speedway lanes in New Bremen, three-point field goal. 3.12 to go. It's down to seven. You're watching high school basketball on WSN. We're back at Wapak Kennedy High School. Down to seven points, Darren. If this is any indication how district we's going to go. Tourney 10 at 10 is back. All week, you can catch 10 games airing at 10 p.m. on WTLW and WSN-TV, Tuesday through Saturday, part of our 24 term of broadcast this week alone. Tune in, lose the remote, and enjoy. And 10 of those 24 contests this week will be live. So check out WOSN each night between 6 and 7.30 to see which games are going to be live. Seven-point game right now. Good job by St. Henry handling that full court pressure. Any New Bremen foul is a one and one opportunity. Patient possession for the St. Henry Redskins. They are a pretty good free throw shooting team. As a team, they shoot 67%. They've got a couple of guys whose numbers are way up there. They've got to be careful now, dribbling into a double team, into a trap or also like a handoff action. There's Ike a good moves. play, yes. Luke Bikey goes to the rim and scores. Point 16 and 17 for him. Gutsy take right there, that little floater from six feet. Pushes the lead back to nine. Teeman gets inside and will draw contact to get to go to the free throw line. Smart play by that young man. Got a step and then just kind of leaned into his defender to draw contact so he could go to shoot for the free throw line to shoot ultimate outdoor Ohio free throws. Just three points in the game for him. Defense has been crafted to keep the basketball out of his hands. David Holman will be back into the basketball game. 2.14 to go. They're in team it again. First team all-conference player. Rolls that one in. Four points in the game for him. The lead's eight. Logan Link pressured by Bombauer. And now I looked at the clock, Darren. It was right at 10. Whoa. He shot those free throws with 2.14 to go. The clock is at 2.04. Right before it could get to that, Coach Rosenbeck took a timeout. Magical timeout. Really huh? heads up play. And the sure good thing, was. the official, Stephen McCrary, was on the baseline. He had to go find him to make that call. That was a really heads up play by Coach. So good to see him take care of that business. You can check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and more teams than anyone in the state. Check out the broadcast schedule, upcoming games, and social media posts while on WOSN.TV. I'm going down to Vandalia Butler on Thursday, Darren. Two big girls games. Nice facility. Oh, it's a wonderful facility to do a high school tournament from. 
And down there on Thursday night with Jerry Snodgrass. Always enjoy that particular ride. And we've got four really talented girls teams down there. That Fort Laramie, Rushi, uh, Tribe Madison, New Allison, Tribe Village, who's 26 and 0, and Marion Local. So that will be a really good evening on Thursday. Those games will air on Friday night on WOSN. It will be Sir Henry basketball out of bounds here at midcourt. Caden Bergman will be the inbounder. And they threw it right inbounds to Baumbauer. Great anticipation. Holman catches and shoots and scores. Holman scores. Really good play by Baumbauer to cut the lead to six. And then we're going to get a foul that will go against Alex Holman. I think the coaches on both staffs know the stats, don't they? Because they're going to put a 50% free throw shooter on the line. We're going to walk to the other line, and then we'll see the free throw shooter is Devin Delphus. He's had a big basketball game tonight, 10 points, but has not been to the free throw line. This is a one and one Average is 2.3 points per game, just the 5'11 senior. He's setting on 10 right now. Make it 11. What a gutsy play there by Baumbauer, playing with the four fouls, shooting that gap there, making the steal, throwing the lob to Holman, and him catching it at his peak and knocking that in. Two of them, 12 points tonight. Eight point lead again. Holman trying to get open, cannot. Baumbauer goes to the baseline. Holman gets a three look. Bowers rebounds with one hand. And Bob Bauer's going to foul out. You know, he tried to make the extra pass. I thought he had a lap on this strong side of the floor. Then again, he's the one that's playing the game. You know, down eight, he thought Omen had a better look. We get the three versus the two. Dylan Bombauer will foul out with four points. That's some excellent defense this evening. To the free throw line, Evan Bowers, 81% free throw shooter. This will be the final one and one opportunity from the ultimate outdoor Ohio free throw line. All of them will be double bonus after this for St. Henry. On the defensive bomb bar, that's just two physical kids locking up for a rebound. Nine point game, approaching 90 seconds in this one. Team in deep three, short. Rebound, put back up. That one would not go inside for Alex Holman. Bergman will be fouled from behind by David Holman, and that will be David Holman's fifth foul. David Holman will foul out of this basketball game with 21 points tonight. That is 14 above his average in his final, what appears to be anyway, there in his final high school basketball game. And he is getting a huge round of applause. I'll tell you what, what yep. a gutsy effort. How about uh, Luke Bikey just walked over and slapped hands with him. Sure did. That's what competition's all about. The man's had a heck of a career. Here's Bergman to the free throw line. He shoots 70% there on the season. It is double bonus time, and he makes the first free throw on an ultimate outdoor Ohio free throw line this evening. He's got seven points in the game. And now eight, he's a perfect four for four from the line tonight. Back to 11 points, here's a three, short. Bowers rebounds. <laughs> throw it to me, I want to get fouled. Uh -huh. <laughs> batter, don't throw, force a turnover. Here's Link. You know. Bergman just made the free throws a moment ago. Vikings had a big basketball game with 17 in the game. He's trapped and then fouled by Aaron Tiemann, who will pick up his third foul. And back to the free throw line will go. It's Mikey, I believe. Yeah, he's an 87% free throw shooter on the season, but has not been there this evening. This will be a double bonus. Eight team for him in the game. He averages 15.8, was a first team all conference player. And Aaron Tiemann, his coach is going to get him out of the game so he can get an ovation from his fans. Yep. 
Number 12, Carter Elking checked in. Number 14, Gavin Schrader has checked in. Here's Bikey again. Another free throw goes. Whoops, I marked that in my wrong spot. 19 in the game for him. And Hardings will come back into the game. And Luke Bikey will leave with a ovation from his fans. 19 points for him. Three three-point field goals and a perfect night at the free throw line. It's the guy that just checked in a moment ago. That was Gavin Schrader. The pass inside is tipped away. Harding secures it. And Bowers crosses midcourt with 34 seconds to go. Bergman. Bowers. And they find a pass inside. Delson can't miss, make a couple shots. He's been a great night. That's, yeah, that's he's one had of the a few great night. He's yeah. made tonight, huh? Elking passes stolen by Link. That young man is athletic. And this one's going to come to an end. St. Henry will move on in the tournament. They will take a 58 to 45 victory. We're going to take a quick break and come back with some final thoughts. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back in Wapak, Canada. They're emptying out the gym in preparation for game number two this evening. Game number one, 58 for St. Henry, 45 for New Bremen. Darren Gilbert, you've got some stat numbers in front of you. What do those tell you? Well, I just think the, the glaring stat, we talked about that. And that's the, the ability to shoot the basketball from behind the arc for St. Henry. You know, they didn't shoot a three in the fourth quarter and finished the game eight of 16 for 50%. Did a really good job finishing at the free throw line, 10 of 13 for 76%. Finished a plus 11 on the glass, 39 to 28. You know, finished the game with 11 assists. You know, if there's one glaring stat for them was their uh, inability, but a lot of teams is gonna have this problem versus New Bremen, and they turned the ball over 17 times and then finished with a plus eight on bench scoring 12 to four. And a lot of that has to go to the credit of Mr. Delson. Absolutely. New Bremen will finish the season at 16 and eight. They had quarter scores of 11, 12, 12, and 10. They were led in scoring tonight by David Holman with 21. Evan Ike had 13 for them this evening. St. Henry will come back for the district final game on Friday night. They are currently 14 and 11. They had quarter scores of 17, 18, 12, and 11. Darren, they, they were led in scoring, of course, by Luke Bikey with 19. They had 12 from Devin Delseth. They had 11 from Evan Bowers. One of the real key stats, though, they shot seven of eight from the free throw line in the fourth quarter when things were on the line. Knocked the free throws in, and here's another one that I just looked at individually, Mark. They had two players with the double-double tonight. Devin Delseth comes off the bench, gets 12 points, along with 10 rebounds, and Evan Bowers does his job on the glass again. 14 rebounds, five of those offensive. Finish with 11 points. Big night for those two guys. We want to thank our sponsors this evening. That has been Holman Interiors this evening, uh, uh, Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, and Ultimate Outdoor Ohio. As always, the tournament very well run here at Wapak Canetta. Mike Watt, the tournament manager, media contact is Drew Golden. Our crew here at the gym tonight, Jacob O'Neill, Kelsey Beimer, Stephen McNeil, and back at the station, Cassidy Driscoll and Megan Sherrick will edit this all together. So Henry moves into the district finals Friday night at 6 p.m. with a 58-45 victory over the New Bremen Cardinals. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN. <laughs>